Namaste everyone. Welcome to Yoga with Amit. I'm Amit Namdev and today we are doing yoga for seniors. People above 50 and 60. Let's start. So let's sit onto your chair and take a moment to come into the present moment. Always a nice way to start yoga. Taking time to bring yourself into the present moment. Becoming aware of your body. Becoming aware of the body in the beginning will help you identify how yoga helps you becoming aware of the body after the yoga session. Once you're ready, Gently open your eyes and with left hand hold on to your chair, right arm out and bring your head to the left, stretching the hand outward, back to the center, chain the hand, left arm stretching and head is stretching opposite direction, back to the center. Let's do that three times both sides. Keeping the breathing nice and gentle or you can breathe long and deep like yogic breathing in abdomen. Good. If you want deeper stretch then as you're stretching the arm you can use another hand to pull your head out only do what is easy and comfortable in your body don't push too much so whichever feels the best then you can go ahead close your eyes if you want to or keep them open as you feel the most convenient and rotate your shoulders about five times other way around Gently stop, then bring your hands down, either hand in fist or fingers pointing outward. Then squeeze your shoulders all the way up, squeeze, 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 squeeze and drop. One more time, let's do five times, lifting the shoulders up, squeezing, squeezing all the way up and drop. One more time, lifting up, up, squeezing and drop. Squeezing the shoulders all the way up and drop. Last time, lifting the shoulders all the way you can and drop. Then bring your right knee onto the left thigh or left knee, whichever. You can see how close you can bring the leg to your body or you want to keep them a little bit far, whichever is convenient. Hold one hand, knee and one hand is going to rotate your foot. about 10 times other way around good now you want to lift the leg gently up as high up as possible and then press it back down lifting up and down up down about five times so give the gentle mobility to your hip area lifting up and down and then inhale as you exhale you want to fold gently forward see what is convenient comfortable in your body don't push too much only bend as forward as is possible in your own body so some people might go up to here and some people might be able to go further so whichever category you are, go ahead, do that. Good, come back and chain the leg. Repeat the same on the left side, rotating the leg and the foot about 10 times. A 
other way around. Good. Now again, lift the leg up and then down. Lift up, down, up, down, four, down, and five. Good. Place the leg down. Then bring your left hand onto the chair on the side, on the right side. And with right hand, you can try grab the chair this way. Then inhale, lift your chest up. As you exhale, pull this area. And because of that, you will twist. And then you want to press onto the chair. Let me show you from the side. So inhale, and as you exhale, twist to the right. And of course, you do what is comfortable and easy in your body, that I'm only showing you the technique. If you can't go all the way this much, you can go this much. So some people may be already feeling the stretch around this area. Some people might be flexible and you can go further. So do exactly what is possible in your body. Chain the side, holding with the right hand, left side, left hand onto the upper area of the chair. Inhale, lift your chest up. As you exhale, twist to the left. back to the center now there's another one more technique that you can practice while you're sitting on the chair so you go a little bit forward and first you go and hold the chair this way or hold here like that now check your feet should be in one line so they are not doing this way you are want to be keeping the both feet together and perhaps if possible both knee in one line then inhale, as you exhale, you want to push away like that. And then with this, you are pulling. And by doing so, because you want to do even, even in both sides, and because of that, you will be able to twist. Look at me, you will be able to twist like all the way because of this help. So of course you do what is possible in your body. If you can't go all the way, or if you can do what is easy. Come back to the center. Let's do other side. So let's grab the chair, both ends, feet in one line, knee in one line, inhale. And as you exhale, twisting to the left. Good, come back to the center. Let me go back. Then raise your arms up, interlock your fingers and stretching them all the way. Stretch, stretch, keeping the breathing nice and normal, gentle. Then inhale. As you exhale, bending gently towards the right. Back to the center, inhale. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Back to the center. Then inhale. Stretching the arms all the way up. And twisting to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Inhale back. Exhale to the right. Inhale back. Exhale to the left. Back to the center. Come down. Bring your hands down and bring the hands onto your knees. Lift your chest up. Keep your back nice, upright and relax. Inhale. As you exhale, bend forward gently. 
as much as you can come back and you can see whether you need to have your feet together or open which one feels the best so the more open in my idea the more easier it will be for you so it depends if you do this then you will feel stretch perhaps to your genitals to your back if you open that then you will be able to work more onto your back so see which one you want to work first pushing forward supporting with your hands so you don't collapse come back exhale down inhale back exhale down inhale back good now let's stand up okay so let's go into the back of the chair and move about 2 to 3 feet away from the chair and then take support of the the chair and then you want to check your feet about hip width apart now you want to keep your back nice and straight so you don't want to be too near or too far from the chair so you adjust yourself according to the length of your spine and arms let me show you from the side so once you are there you want to gently as you exhale bring your arms forward so that your back becomes nice and straight and you can see 90 degree angle So adjust and once you are 90 degree maybe you can take the help of a mirror or your family member telling you it's 90 degree yet or not and once you are there hold and breathe you can also hold the chair if 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 bringing the arm like this is difficult you hold the chair so you can support nicely and then you stretching your hamstrings your back your shoulders excellent asan so as you can see that i have to adjust quite a lot to be able to 90 degree now hold between 10 second to up to 30 second good as soon as you're ready gently come back and bring the chair back in the center we are going to do some balancing asanas so let's keep foot into the straight position so it's neither to the side it's a straight line and balance with the supporting the chair and balance bring your right leg right foot onto the chair now keep the hold of the chair bring the right arm to the shoulder level inhale as you exhale twist to the right once you're ready and you feel that you are balanced enough then you can bring the hand onto your knee to give more workout for your brain to be balancing But if you find yourself that this is giving you too much imbalance you can keep hold of the chair good come back to the center let's repeat the same on the other side so this time maybe try balance or you can turn the chair to the other side so you can hold of the chair So holding of the knee or the chair whichever is convenient arm to the shoulder level inhale as you exhale twisting to the left if you are holding of the chair or the chair is this side you holding of the chair once you balance bring the hand onto the knee to be balancing and working more onto your brain and neurons
Good. Come back to the center. And breathing is very important. So let's do some breathing exercises. Breathing can cut down the stress, anxiety, and fill you with more energy, more oxygen. So let's come into the comfortable seated posture. Keep your back, neck, and spine straight. And once you're ready, bring your arms down. As you inhale, bring your arms up. And with exhale, bring your arms down. When you bring arms up, that will help you your lungs to be breathing even more than normal. So inhale, exhale. Now let's do the same process with slower movements. So breathing in in about four seconds. And then breathing out in about six seconds. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. and breathe out good bring your hands back onto your knees let's prepare for kapal bhati very effective pranayama for energy so breathing into your abdomen normal breathing out Breathing in, breathing out, and breathing in fully completely, and beginning the pumping about 20 times. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Release and relax for about 20 seconds and then we will do the second round. Second round, breathe in to your abdomen, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, now breathe in fully completely and begin 20 pumpings. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Release and relax. And preparing your mind for Anulom Bilom.
for Anulom Belum. Bring your hand into Vishnu Mudra. Inhale normal. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in fully completely. And breathe out fully completely. Close your right nostril. Breathe in left. Breathe out left. Breathe in four seconds. Breathe out six seconds. Breathe in four. Breathe out six. Breathe in four. Breathe out six. Breathe in four. Breathe out six. Change the nostril. Breathe in four. Breathe out six. 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 Drop your hand down. Bring your hands back onto your knees or fingers together, interlocked. Sit quietly for a while. And preparing for full nostril breathing. As to full nostril breathing, the right hand into Vishnu Mudra, left hand onto your knee, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, now inhale fully completely and exhale completely out. Close your right nostril, inhale left. Close, exhale right. Inhale right, four. Close, exhale left, six. Inhale left, four. Close. Exhale right, six. Inhale right, four. Close. Exhale left, six. Inhale left, four. Close, exhale right, six. Inhale right, four. Close, exhale left, six. Drop your hand down, keep your eyes closed. Sit quietly for a while. 
And once again, becoming aware of the body. And this way you will be able to notice the difference in the body between the beginning of the asana practice and after. Then rub your palm together. And bring them onto your eyes, onto your face. Give the warmth and the energy we gained through the yoga practice to your face, to your body. Gently massage your face. Give thanks in prayer pose. And very slowly and gently open your eyes. Thank you very much everyone who ever joined me in this practice and I look forward to see you in my upcoming practices. Namaskar.